So Secret Wars, plot reveals, new leaks, and rumors explain. Let's see what the Dan of to say about this. Let's see what he has to say about Avengers Secret Wars. There's only to say about Secret Wars plot reveals and leaks and rumors and all the plot and all the plot to care. Let's see what he has to say about this. And let's see what he has to say. Check this out. Marvel fans have wanted to know anything and everything mm -hmm. about what the MCU version of Secret Wars will be like. And recently we've gotten quite a few new leaks and rumors. So in this video, we'll go over all the new information and do our best to tell you what the MCU version of Secret Wars will be like. Well, first, we'll talk about the characters that are coming because there's some surprises here, some really interesting stuff, and confirmations of characters that we were really hoping to see. Then in the video, we'll talk about the plot devices that are said to be used in this movie. This is more or less how the characters are all going to get together. And finally, we'll talk about the villain of the movie, the Kang that will be the Beyonder, that's the villain, and there are some new details out about that. And this will serve as part three to our Road to the MCU Secret Wars series. So first up, let's talk about the dope characters, man. This is really where the magic of the Secret Wars movie is going to come in, because it is going to basically be like Spider-Man No Way Home, but instead of just bringing back a bunch of fun characters from two different other Spider-Man franchises, you're going to bring back characters from as many of the incredible Marvel franchises that have been around for the last 30 years. So of course, most notably, you're going to bring in a ton of characters from the Fox X-Men universe, and you're likely to be bringing back characters from the Fox Fantastic Four universe. And so far, a lot of the rumors suggest that you'll see Sir Patrick Stewart return to the role as Professor Xavier, although there have been a few rumors about James McAvoy coming back as well. There are new rumors suggesting that you're going to get Magneto, and oh baby, do we have to talk about that, because a new report is saying that Marvel's not just going to be going to these other franchises and mm -hmm. scooping up heroes, yep. but they're also going to be scooping up villains. And as of right now, the only person that's really being talked about, at least from the different insiders and scoopers, is Magneto. It feels like Magneto and likely Fassbender will be the one to come back and be a part of whatever they're doing in the Secret Wars film. But the biggest, most notable X-Men that is going to be in the movie is going to be Hugh Jackman Wolverine. And now there's so many different reports saying that he has finalized and signed the contract to be in not only Deadpool 3, but also Secret Wars. And we'll talk more about this when we get into the plot section of this video, but Hugh Jackman Wolverine going to be a big, big part of Secret Wars, not just a kid. Now, when it comes to the Fantastic Four, I'm not really sure who's going to be coming back. I would assume it would be Reed Richards, but maybe it's going to be all of them. I actually really liked the Doctor Doom from the first version of the Fox Fantastic Four, and that Silver Surfer wasn't bad either. So I wonder if any or all of those characters will also be brought into Secret Wars, and reportedly, this cast is set to reappear in Deadpool mm -hmm. 3 as well. And outside of the Fox stuff, it is heavily rumored that you're going to see Nicolas Cage return to the role yep. of yes. Ghost Rider. Yes. As far as Spider-Man is concerned, it really seems like Tobey Maguire is coming back in a big way for Secret Wars, but it's also possible that Andrew Garfield will be playing a significant role as well. And it seems like reports from even back when Spider-Man No Way Home was coming out that indicated that Marvel and Sony wanted all three of the Spider-Man back in Secret Wars are still holding out to be true. I think from Sony's perspective, they'd love to have Tom Hardy Venom be a part of that movie mm. as well. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see how that's negotiated and what parts of what Sony is doing have interest to Feige. 
And one of the mm. absolute best parts of Secret Wars is that Robert Downey Jr. is said to come back to the role of Iron Man and play a major role in Avengers Secret Wars. This was something that people thought was going to happen for a long, long time, but it's super cool to have insiders confirming that he will be back for that film and possibly cameo in the Armor Wars show. Sorry, movie. Now, Armor Wars is a movie. I, I, I know that. There have been no recent confirmations that Chris Evans will be coming into Secret Wars as Captain America, but Chris Evans was reportedly signed back to Marvel a long time ago, and there are a ton of different projects, including a Nomad project that could have Chris Evans attached as the character of Steve Rogers. So that's a lot of the new information about characters that you're going to see in Secret Wars, but I'll tell you right now, any and every big Marvel franchise is probably on the table in some way for Secret Wars. And I think much like what they did in the Multiverse of Madness movie, they have a ton of different options and really cool ideas on how to bring all of these different people back. And it's gonna come down to whether or not they can actually sign to bring these people back. In a lot of ways, what they did in Multiverse of Madness was a big test run for how to fit all of these different moving parts together. They shot John Krasinski's stuff on a green screen and then inserted him in a scene where he's literally talking to the other Illuminati and he's talking to Wanda. And there's concept art now that shows what they were going to do with the original version of the Illuminati, which had Boulder the Brave, and it had an Iron Monger that was going to be a character that Tom Cruise was going to play as sort of a hybrid between Tony Stark and Obadiah Stane. We're even seeing concept art now of like this incursion world that Doctor Strange was going to be transported there where a ton of his different variants were just dead in this desert. Basically, what you had was Michael Waldron coming up with all kinds of crazy concepts and ideas, and then depending on who they could get or how it fit for the story, they whittled the ideas down as they got to the actual film. So we've got the broad strokes as far as what characters are going to be showing up, but this could change as we get closer to the movie. It is still three plus years away. But now, let's talk about the plot details because this is really interesting and definitely new information. It can help us to try to understand what characters might show up and in what roles they would do in the movie. So this is coming from a combination of My Time to Shine Hello and Paul from Heavy Spoilers. Initially, My Time to Shine talked about how the framing for the plot of Secret Wars mm -hmm. was going to be having the heroes of the different franchises be the narrative driving force. Essentially, what that means is you were going mm -hmm. to go into the perspective of a lot of the heroes from different franchises and have the multiversal Avengers mm -hmm. pop up and start to recruit these people and bring them onto a singular team to then fight against the Beyonder Kang. And the way Marvel's gonna do this to not make Secret Wars a four hour movie is they're gonna have the new Avengers with Sam Wilson, Captain America, She-Hulk, and other characters mm -hmm. fight against Kang in the Kang Dynasty. They're very yeah. likely to lose and then some of the remaining team is gonna jump through the multiverse to try and recruit the characters from these other franchises to make a final stand against Kang. And recently, Paul from Heavy Spoilers talked about how he has heard that what they're going to do in Secret Wars is very similar to what they did in Avengers Endgame in the time heist. In Avengers Endgame, the Avengers go back in time to crucial moments from the MCU's 10-year canon history. And they go back to these really cool points in time to have sort of a nostalgic effect as, you know, we're taking a trip down memory lane. And Paul says that Feige wants to do the same thing in Avengers Secret Wars. He's going to have these nostalgic moments from the franchises of the past, and then those franchises will be sort of interrupted by a multiversal group of Avengers coming in and recruiting heroes and villains to join up in this multiversal group of Avengers to fight against Kang. And I personally think this is absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. There are a 
ton of different very cool moments in time from the Fox X-Men films, from the Fox Fantastic Four films, from the old Blade movies, from the old Ghost Rider movies, and of course from the Sony Spider-Man franchise. So maybe you'll have mm -hmm. a He Who Remains variant Tony Stark and Tom Holland Spider-Man jump to right after the wedding of Reed Richards and Sue Storm from the old Fantastic Four. Or maybe they'll jump to the point where Doctor Doom confronts the Silver Surfer. Maybe then you'll have Reed Richards, Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark, and Tobey Maguire Spider-Man break the Fazbender Magneto out of prison before the events of Days of Future Past. Recruiting the X-Men is actually probably going to be fairly easy as the characters can just jump into a timeline when Professor X or Jean Grey is there and have one of those telepaths mm -hmm. read their minds to know the severity of the situation. But there are a ton of cool places they can grab up the X-Men from as well. Visiting the old Nick Cage Ghost Rider movies could be really fun. Maybe the entire team could come to Ghost Rider after his father dies in the first movie. Or maybe they could interrupt that crazy scene when Nick Cage Ghost Rider's driving around the car trying to hit on that lady reporter. Like Magneto could show up and just stop up all the cars of his power and then they could say hey johnny blaze stop being so dang reckless come help us save the multiverse and i personally think this is so cool because it will allow for cameos to happen in the secret wars movie which would essentially be the characters from the old franchises in the scenes that the multiversal avengers go to but it's not like they're going to grab up all of the different characters from those other timelines so maybe they jump to the x-men and there's this whole cast mm -hmm. of the old Fox X-Men, but only a few of them are actually recruited to go with the Multiversal Avengers. So that way you have a fun, nostalgic, cameo-filled scene, but you're also able to just grab the big players for the rest of the movie. This is also just such a cool way to get mm -hmm. that nostalgia hit from all these other franchises. I think it's really brilliant, and it also makes these old franchises somewhat more valuable. Like, a lot of people went back and revisited the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies after seeing him in Spider-Man No Way Home. They wanted to check it out, see if it was as bad as people said, but also just get a better appreciation for the character. And Secret Wars, if done correctly, could send Marvel fans fans back to all the old Marvel franchises and get them to get a better appreciation for those characters that will be in that movie. It's a brilliant move on multiple fronts and I'm really excited to get more information because with this plot device in mind, we will be able to decipher a lot moving forward as far as what role will each character play. And finally in this video, we've got to talk about the Beyonder Kang as new recent leaks have come out to say that the Kang that will be the villain of Avengers Secret Wars is going to be known as the Beyonder. Now, from mm -hmm. what I understand, this is going to be mostly the Beyonder just in name, and it's mostly just going to be a Kang variant that has somewhat of a suit that looks like the Beyonders and some of the powers of the Beyonder. And after initially freaking out a little bit about this, being confused, and then trying to make sense of it, I've come to a place where I truly think this will just be a Kang the Conqueror variant that has some pretty crazy powers. This character might even be able to do some similar things to what Wanda did in Multiverse of Madness. Except in this mm -hmm. scenario, it will be the powers of the Beyonder mm -hmm. and sort of technology or just cosmic ability rather than magic. But Paul from Heavy Spoilers claims that he is hearing that the Kang the Conqueror we meet in Ant-Man Quantumania will end up being the same Kang that is the villain of Secret Wars. And I really like that. So this is sort of speculative. We're not 100% clear on this, but if what happens is the Kang from Quantum Mania escaping, going out in the multiverse, traversing time even more, and eventually stumbling on or creating the powers of the Beyonder. And then if that variant of Kang ends up coming back in the Kang Dynasty and is presented as the big bad villain, I will actually like that quite a mm -hmm. bit. And so I think they're gonna leave a lot of the cosmic stuff 
off the table, but I think the Kang variant, known as the Beyonder, tapping into some of that crazy cosmic power could be something that Marvel sets up for their future films and for their future sagas. Because there have been a ton of trademarked things leaked from Marvel Studios that suggest that the next saga may be called the Eternity Saga, the next Avengers film may be called Eternity Wars, and I truly think that Ken the Conqueror tapping into the power of the Beyonder is going to be the Marvel Cinematic Universe audience's sort of first introduction to powers that are beyond anything in the multiverse. And I do think this is going to tie into a lot of cosmic stuff that's happening in comics currently, in Al Ewing stuff, in even Jonathan Hickman stuff with this new big event that he has coming out. And you'll get this sense of what the Celestials actually are, what the Beyonders actually are, and what the greater fabric of the entire multiverse actually looks like. But make no mistake about it, if Kang the Conqueror gets some of the powers of the Beyonders, that is absolutely a problem. That's mm -hmm. major, major, big time problem for all heroes trying to beat him. And I think you might even see a scenario in which it's not just different X-Men, Fantastic Four, yep. Ghost Rider, Avengers that are being scooped up from across the multiverse, but perhaps even very powerful things like maybe the Phoenix Force, maybe the power of Galactus from the Fantastic Four film, maybe even some wider, crazier demonic power from the Ghost Rider movies that also comes into play to help defeat Kang as the Beyonder. That's kind of speculative. We don't know for sure how all of that is going to work together, but I did want to talk about the villain and a lot of the things that we are hearing. So, to sort of summarize everything we've talked about in the video so far, there's definite confirmations from a lot of scoopers and insiders that are getting crazy fun fan favorite characters like Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark, and apparently those three specific characters are going to be more or less main characters in Avengers Secret Wars. We mm -hmm. also know that a big part of the plot will be happening from the perspective of these characters in their native universes from the old franchises, and then you're going to have a very similar structure to the way that Avengers Endgame does the time heist, where we will go back to these other franchises, visit them in a very nostalgic way, while also scooping up some heroes and importantly, some villains to come join the multiversal Avengers. They're going to fight against the Beyonder Kang. And of course, that the Kang variant that will be the main villain of Avengers Secret Wars is going to be a variant of Kang known as the Beyonder. And according to Paul from Heavy Spoilers, this will be the same Kang the Conqueror that you meet in Quantum Mania. And that mm -hmm. all sounds pretty freaking cool to me. We have a pretty good yep. look of what Avengers Secret Wars is going to be like. I'm super hyped up for it. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Smash like on this video if you liked it. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel and our live streaming channel. We give away dope, nerdy stuff to lucky subscribers each and every month. And if you want to watch more, why not check out this video I recently made about some leaks for the Ahsoka show that had me incredibly hyped Ooh. up. I think this will be the coolest thing Star Wars has ever done. Neil, what you guys thought about uh, the Dan of nerds about his talk about Secret Wars, Secret Wars, plot reveals and new leaks and really explain what you, guys, what you guys think about that and don't forget to comment below and like this video and don't forget to please like this video and subscribe and thanks so much for watching and please enjoy this video and are you guys excited for Secret Wars as I am? But yeah, please subscribe, like this video, and thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day, thanks for watching, see you guys, bye.